I love paleo art, don't get me wrong, but looking back, some older pieces, particularly from the 1800s, are really strange. They demonstrate a time when we didn't really know that much about dinosaurs, and there's something creepy about them that actually kind of fascinates me. So here's some of my favourite strange vintage paleo art. Starting with Primitive World by Francois Panamecaire, sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. Painted in 1857, this piece demonstrates a common theme of early paleo art in that the plesiosaurs are inspired by dragon folklore, at least to some degree. This can also be said of John Martin's The Age of Reptiles. Pterosaurs were also, perhaps more understandably, depicted as dragons, such as in this drawing of Demetrodon by George Howman from 1829. At least he has a cool hairdo though, looking good. Speaking of pterosaurs, this monstrosity exists. Edward Newman thought that pterosaurs were flying marsupials. He was wrong. I love this piece by Edwin Drinker Cope. The plesiosaurs look strange, sure, but to be fair, they're elasmosaurs, which are strange looking at the best of times. I just love the kangaroo looking Dryptosaurus. This was during a short phase of paleontology when marsupials were used as inspiration for dinosaur reconstructions. To be fair, it's a much closer representation of theropods than what we previously had. This is a depiction of Megalosaurus by William Buckland. In fairness though, this was literally the first dinosaur ever described and it looks pretty cool. But there's no excuse for this next piece. They just took the old Megalosaurus and chucked long legs on it. Now that is just lazy, come on. And this was from 1960, we already had a good idea of what theropods looked like. In fact, realising that theropods were bipedal wasn't all good for paleo art. We ended up with depictions like this. <laughs> For a little while, iguanodons looked like this. They were still heavily based off of the living iguana, but artists ran with the idea of bipedal dinosaurs, resulting in strange humanoid iguanas. Welcome to my favourite phase of nightmarish paleo art, creepy legs. But first, you could press the like button and show the YouTube algorithm that this is a good video. Just saying, do with that what you will. Okay, moving on. Let's start with Heinrich Harder's depiction of a sprawled diplodocus. It's so creepy looking. The same can be said of this depiction of Apatosaurus, formerly known as Brontosaurus, from 1910. Oh no, Heinrich Harder's back at it again with sprawled dinosaurs. Also, on a side note, you put too many spikes on the tail, you nerd. And I don't know why you're laughing, Hutchinson, your Stegosaurus looks just as bad. On a serious note, these examples of paleo art are genuinely a beautiful reminder of how far paleontology has come. You should definitely click here to watch my video on the history of paleo art, and please send me any strange paleo art that you happen to find. You can either email me or comment on this video with a link. That's your lot, folks. Now get out of here.